Hey everybody, Jacob with Scooters Lawn Care. Today, I wanna to talk about doubling the size of your business. To start this off, I wanna kinda of tell you that this is from my personal experience and how the progression of our business took place. So, in our first year of business, I did this part-time on the side. I worked a 40 to 50 hour, or, um, hour full-time job as my main occupation, and I did this on nights and weekends. I literally, when I first started wanting to do this, I just had, all, had enough stuff to do it, had a push mower, a uh, hand blower and a uh, weed eater. The only reason I had this stuff is I just bought my own house and I wanted to be able to take care of it. And I was si tired of working on cars on the side and I was like, let's do this on the side. So, you know, this is personal experience of me. You kind of tell you the determination when I first started wanting to do this, even though it was just gonna be a hobby. You know, I was walking the streets with flyers, knocking on doors and talking to people, which was very uncomfortable for me to try to gain some customers to get the ball rolling. But, um, so how our business did, or how our personal experience of business took place was when we started out, I started with that manner of just beating the streets and trying to get some customers just for a hobby. Um, soon learned that this could be something you could make a living at, and I decided, you know what, I don't want to work for somebody anymore. Um, so our first year on the side, very, very small revenue. Our first full year, um, full time when I left my job, very, very scary. I probably had 25 customers when I left my full time job. I had a full time job where I made 50,000 plus a year. Benefits, I hate hearing about benefits. Benefits are money. All you have to do is make more money and you can buy your own benefits, your own retirement. You can fund your own pension or whatever you wanna call it. It's only money. So anyone that thinks that that is the reason you must stick with a job, to me, and you can argue that it's fine, that is hogwash. Does not matter. Um, but anyway, so when you can devote all your time to your business, once you take the leap, and this can, is in any business, but when you can vote, devote eight hours a day, ten hours a day, whatever you want to put into it, you will just grow like crazy. So. Our first full-time year in business, we were 500% up from our first time or year when I did it part-time. So we grew five times the size when we did it on the side. Second full-time year in business, we tripled in size. So we were 300% up. And um, now our third full-time year in business, we are um, we're kind of on track to be just over double in size. And um, I wanna be a little above doubling in size, that's our goal. And then this coming year, I want to, next year, 2018, I just, if we can double in size, then we'll have hit kind of where I want to be and, and you know, the number that I feel now we can just start working on the whole business as a whole. But, um, so this is all from personal experience, how we did it, how I did it. Um, and the things that I think are essential to this. So the first one, I've said this, we've been talking about this a lot. I'm sorry to keep hitting on it, but it's important. You gotta know your why. You need a why that makes you cry to pull you through the stuff. Um, you know, mine is family. Um, I want to give jobs. I want to make great jobs for employees and um, see them grow. I've got employees that I feel like their family. I kind of feel like their dad. Um, they've learned a lot. They've matured a lot. They've grown a lot while they've been here. Um, I want to do everything I can for them. I care more about them than I care about me making money. I care obviously hugely about my family and wanting to make a better life for them. And, um, you know, I just want to make a place that is something bigger than me. That that is that is my reason. So um, take that for what it is. But so those reasons push me forward because a lot of times you're gonna want you're gonna have to do stuff in business that you don't want to do. You don't like it. You don't feel comfortable with it. Get over it. You've got to do it if you want to grow. If you want to grow, you're gonna have to be uncomfortable to do it. Um, that's all there is to it. You're gonna have to learn a bunch of stuff you didn't care about. You're gonna have to do a bunch of number stuff you didn't care about. There's gonna be things that you need to work on to make yourself better to get you where you wanna go. So that's the first part. So when you have that why, the second part of this to double the size or to grow your business fast is you need to be obsessed. You have to be completely obsessed. You have to spend countless hours learning everything you have to obsess over portions of your business try to do it strategically you know most people get in like we did you know push mower hand blower and weed eater and you know 
you have to obsess with how to mow a lawn, obsess with how to make it look good, what's the most efficient process, um, what string trimmer line, what this, what that on the mowing. And the mowing is simplistic. That's the small, in my eyes, one of the easier parts. Then you get into fertilization weed control. You gotta know the analysis of fertilizers. You have to know the science behind what makes it work. Uh, the different types of, of chemicals that do different types of things. How to control grassy weeds, how to control broadleaf weeds, how uh, to control uh, some of the woodier plants in, in landscapes, you know, and, and to, to prevent some of these things. You know, that's a tier. Then there's landscaping. How to obsess with how to um, measure a bed for mulch, estimate it for rock, estimate it for weeding, cleaning out, all these things. And as you're doing this, keep track of everything. Write it down, learn it, make an Excel. Easiest thing to do is you bid a job, you see that you do good, you keep your numbers, you put them in an Excel sheet, and you move on to the next thing that you need to learn how to estimate. And then you just keep tweaking as you go because you're not gonna be perfect, you're not gonna be right. But like I said, you've gotta be obsessed. And that's just the little things in the business, The probably the more fun things because people want to go into this stuff because they're good at it and there's a lot more than being good at mowing a lawn making a lawn look green making a beautiful landscape to having a successful business you need to work on yourself because it's you that's going to hinder the business it is your lack of knowledge and anytime there's something wrong with the business it is your fault if you want to see Who's causing the problem? It's not the crappy employees. It's not the, the broken down equipment. It is the guy looking at you in the mirror that hired the employees that are not working out because his hiring process was not good enough. Um, the guy in the mirror that has to fire all of his guys this year because his hiring process wasn't good enough. You know, everybody fights things with all of this and employees are hard to find and, and it's equipment breaks and, and this and that, but bottom line, the worst part that is the hardest thing to cope with is it's 99% of the time it's you and you need to figure it out and get better. You need to read books. You need to learn as fast as you can. If you want to grow your business, you have to obsess with it. You have to wake up in the morning and read about your business and read about business, business books on how to do your finances, on how to properly prepare things and plan things to make things work. You need to read till you go to bed at night. Now, Obviously, you have to give time to friends, family, you know, but some of this stuff, if, depending on how fast you want to grow, you're going to have to limit things. It's all in what you want. If you want to party with all your buddies, party with all your buddies. Your business isn't going to grow as fast. If you want to, um, I mean, if, if you don't want to put in a bunch of time, you're not going to be able to grow it as fast. But, um, you know, I've been able to eliminate a lot of the partying and, and really give time, you know, try to give time to my family and focus on the business, and we've had great success. Um, so being obsessed is huge. You have to be obsessed to move forward at a significant rate. That is one thing that, uh, like I said, I can go on with it forever. I've been able to focus on something, learn everything about it, and, and take it and run with it, and that has made us grow astronomically. The third biggest key, I feel, is discipline. You have to be disciplined. You have to be able to say, I'm going to get up at 4.30 in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, every day, and start my routine. You have to be disciplined that I'm going to make all these bills get paid on time. I'm going to make uh, all these schedules work out. You have to be disciplined, and if you bid and get a job, buddy, it's your job to get it done right. If you don't want your business to grow, the quickest thing you can do is make promises that you can't keep. You have to have discipline to keep all your promises. That's a hard one. People want to make a bunch of promises, and they can't keep them, and then there's no quicker way to look bad. So you got to have discipline. You know, the discipline is going to allow you to do things that you couldn't do without it. You got to have discipline in your your timeliness. When you get go out for an estimate, you need to be never late. There's people that just you're going to get business from just showing up and answering the phone because half the people don't even do that. So you have to have discipline in answering the phone. You have to have discipline discipline in planning. You know, you need to have a, even if you don't have crazy feel far out plans you need to have a plan that 
the goal you want to hit you this year in revenue so you at least have a direction to hit or you have to have some kind of goals that you want to hit otherwise you can't build a plan to get there and without a plan to get there you're planning without proper planning you're planning to fail so you need to be able to have some kind of 90 day quarterly plan that is pushing you towards your yearly goal that is pushing you towards your two year goal your three year goal your four year goal your five year goal me personally i plan about two years out and i build to that and uh, you know i kind of keep pushing that next year I, I try to keep staying a couple years out so you know everybody has their own way this is personal experience it is not perfect but that is the third and final thing that i have to say is, is discipline is huge you know it's it's like a person that uh, has zero discipline wonders why they can't get in shape and lose weight it's just like that why can't they do it because they eat donuts every two seconds and ice cream and junk and never stop eating well if you don't have discipline and you wonder why your business is growing it's because uh you don't have the discipline to be obsessed or the the discipline to learn at the rate you need to um because like i said your business can only grow as fast as you can um you can grow as yourself um so this is jacob with scooters lawn care guys i hope this has helped if you got any questions on this we've been super successful with growing um it has been really hard it has been really stressful and um it's been worth it and i'm glad we've done it and it's uh it's been really rewarding and really gratifying to see the guys we've got today um become what they've been you know i had a guy that i gave a I gave a raise you know i know it's not the greatest wage in the world but you know he's making 16 bucks an hour now working for us and uh you know i i got to tell him i'm proud of him you know he's came a long way and and that is truly one of the huge reasons I'm in this. So everybody, this is Jacob with Scooters Lawn Care. I hope you learned some stuff from this. If you want to, uh, if you want me to make any more videos on some of the other things we've done to grow, I can definitely do that. Um, grass monkey, I'm gonna get that that video of our guys mowing. Um, you know, that's 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 one of those things that I I really want to get that. I want to get that on a nice small lawn where you can see how they use the mow truck, come up there, bang it out, and uh, and kind of move on and. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this, please, please hit the like button. Um, guys, please subscribe. Just show me that we're doing the right things here and, and giving you guys good information. And uh, if anybody else has any comments on how they've grown their business and been, uh, been really doing well on growth, please leave them below. And, uh, and you know, help help put information together because that's what we're doing here we're trying to compile everything together and uh, we're trying to grow together so we can gain and learn and, and get the things we all want to dream of so everybody have a great weekend fourth of july kick back have a beer maybe and uh, don't have too much fun have a good weekend guys bye